good. I'm so happy to have you on the show today. I actually watch your show, and I love your sense of style, so I feel like I'm getting the inside scoop from one of my favorite people. That is so nice to hear. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's awesome. So where do uh, we start this holiday? What should we uh, focus on to kind of begin to get our overall kind of fashion aesthetic and design aesthetic together? Well, in front of me here, I have a hand-picked a bunch of gifts from Land's End that I think can mix with whatever styles you want. You know how I like to mix styles, but there's also some pieces that are always classic, so you can kind of mix them in with whatever trends you're really into at the moment. Three trends that I'm noticing this year are, first, the nautical trend, which in my book has always been in. I love the classic blue and white striped, and I grew up on the Oregon coast, so it's definitely nostalgic for me. But we have this year these really really plush pillows, throws, stockings. They kind of work with any style, which is what I like about them. When it comes to <laughs> fashion, check this out. Ah, it's so cute. It's a little boy sweater. I just want to have kids just to put them in that sweater. <laughs> <laughs> but we also have them for grown-ups, just the chunky cable knit, very classic sweaters, um, gloves, scarves, hats, really good gifts. Everybody likes them. Good go-tos. Another trend I'm noticing is everything is being monogrammed this way this year to kind of make it more personal and more unique. So this robe, for instance, it's 100% down and flannel. It's the warmest thing you're ever going to put on your body. <laughs> and it also can be monogrammed with your initials, which is pretty cute. Uh, these stockings are adorable for the kids, can be monogrammed. My personal favorite is the tote because it's so classic. As a stylist and as a designer, I shop a ton, like every day for hours. And so I need really, really good totes. Otherwise, my life becomes difficult. And these are good because they're indestructible and they, I don't have to be precious with them. You know, they're not really expensive totes that you're just like, oh no, I don't want to put that down there. Like I feel like I can, I can wash them later. So if there's something that I can use every single day. They're good oh, ones. Love it. And you can monogram them. Mine, I'll say EH, and I have the navy blue ones because I like navy so much. Another big trend is handcrafted gifts. My favorite up here are these little penguins. Here's the mommy, and here's the baby. And they're hand knit in Kenya by artists. Every single one is really different and unique. They're actually signed by the artist, and it's supporting their community, so you can feel really good about buying these. And these are for kids, but I feel like for adults, like I, I really like them too. They're just a really pretty thing to put on your shelf, and uh, you know they're kind of whimsical. Another handmade piece that I love are these dog sweaters. They we have the Argyle one, but also these cable knits that come in any size. They're really great for dogs. We also have these um, dog treats that are pumpkin and nutmeg, so they're very fancy. Um, and in general, we have really good hostess gifts. So. These cookie tins are supposed to be really good and addictive, so be careful. The candles are really good gifts. I feel like candles are one of those annoying things you don't want to buy yourself. At least I don't, but then whenever I get one as a gift, I'm really excited, you know? Yeah. So all of this comes from landzen.com, and if you're still stumped, you can always just buy a gift card. Well, thank you so much. I think you covered uh, just about everything. Um, any last minute tips for decorating your home or decorating your home in, in a sense if you don't have a lot of time but you do want to make an impact for the holidays? I think if you make it really cozy and warm by adding, my things are always add more throws and pillows. Like this chenille throw is extremely cozy. My husband and I actually fight over it. But then candles. Like even if you if you can't, you know, throw Christmas lights all over your house, just having a ton of candles makes it feel cozy and makes it feel wintry pretty pretty fast. Well, wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Emily, for being on the show today. Well, you have a happy holiday. Thank you. You too.